Welcome back everybody. How's it going Reptile Fam? Hope the waterfall is not too loud. Um, I decided to be out here tonight because it's super nice outside. Um, like I said in my last video, if you guys watched it, we had an excessive heat uh, wave here in Washington State. And I know it might be a surprising, but we do get really hot here. Um, people think of Washington, they think of trees and snow, but we do have 100 plus weather, but this last week um, actually was an extreme heat warning and it was super hot. Um, my ACs weren't keeping up. I had to go buy some window ACs to help along my central air. Um, it's not used to being 107, 108, 109 uh, and, and keeping up here. So I had to do some, some extra measures and I also had to go uh, do something for my African software rats and my normals. I had to get some more AC in there because it was getting too hot um, in my reptile room. I know it kind of sounds weird putting AC in your reptile room, but um, I like to keep it around 80 degrees so I didn't have to keep it on hardcore but I had to keep it cold enough so it wouldn't get too hot so the racks can work fine anyways guys I have something that's gonna be I think for people that are starting out and uh, wondering if they should um, breed reptiles ball pythons um, leopard geckos is it really that hard to uh, breed reptiles is it, is it that hard to make a business is it that hard to actually um, going from point A to point B of starting a, a reptile hobby or business right after this. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna be upfront with you and honest. I'm, I'm always trying to be a straight shooter. Um, I, I try to be honest with you guys all the time. My whole thing is, is to get people involved in the reptile community. Um, I think the bigger the community, the better it is. Here in Washington, we are not, we don't have a big reptile community. So I've, I've been for years, for the last 20 years, trying to build the community here in Washington. Now I'm trying to build a community here on YouTube and bring people together because I love reptiles. I love breeding reptiles. And I know that it's a great thing and I know a lot of people would love it too if I can introduce them to it. So that's my whole goal in life, is to get more people into the reptile community. All my videos are more about getting people into reptiles and um, having fun with reptiles and where to start if they're starting out. So today I'm gonna talk about, is it really that hard to uh, breed reptiles? Is, that, is it that hard to make a business? Is it that hard to actually, um, going from point A to point B of starting a, a reptile hobby or business? And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not that hard. Um, the, the main thing is honestly, is gonna cost you is the racking system if you're gonna do ball pythons um, or even leopard geckos. A lot of people do a uh, racking system with leopard geckos. And you don't have to do that. But I mean, you can even make your own, but it's not that hard. And I think people, I've told people it's so hard uh, for so long that people are scared to do it. That's what drives me crazy about some people in the reptile community is they always try to say it's hard, um, you shouldn't have this, you shouldn't do this. And it's really frustrating to me because I, I spend my whole life trying to build up this community and people try to tear it down with their words and it frustrates me to the point of almost angering me because it's not that hard. The thing is, is that there is a lot more room for everybody to grow. Um, this is not just for ball pythons, this is for leopard geckos, crested geckos. Um, there's a lot of room to grow out here. With a little bit of uh, gumption, I think you can make it work. Is it hard to breed ball pythons? No, it's, it's not hard at all. I mean, I figured out really quick. Honestly, the hardest thing I think about breeding snakes is when you start getting all these combos and these morphs together, is deciphering what morphs came through. Um, I know people like Justin Kaboka and, and also uh, Ozzy Boyds, I watch their videos and they have a hard time deciphering some of these morphs because it, that can be really hard. And I even look at uh, Ozzy Boyd's website, which he's one of the, you know, the biggest breeders out there, one of the, the well-known breeders. And he'll say that his snakes, when he calls the morphs out, he does it to the best of his abilities. He doesn't guarantee them. He believes that's what they are, but he doesn't know for a fact. And I think that pretty much everybody out there, they are pretty sure what it is, but they're not 100% sure. And that's one of the things that I get texts all the time and people asking me, how do I know what it is? And I was like, um, look it up. You know, try to figure it out. That's the hardest part, I believe, is when you start getting into those crazy morphs, is finding out 
what it is. Um, and that's what people, I think they wanna make it sound so hard that you don't get involved. I, I don't know what it is. I think you need a little bit of marketing skills. That's the problem I think most people have to how to sell them when you, once you have them. Um, how to handle that is because they, they have the product but they don't know how to market it. Um, I'm a little bit blessed that way because I um, went to a lot of marketing schools, marketing classes because of the feel, the work I, I am. I'm, I'm actually been a store manager for a, a lot of years. I went out of the blue, I had a job where I was a, a service manager, which was kind of like a, a weird thing for me, but I'm back to being a store manager. Um, that's what I've done for most of my life. And uh, I have to take marketing classes. So I know how to market stuff, I know what sells. I have to know you know what, what sells, when to sell it. And that's kind of what I do. And I understand that you have to, um, you know, it's about presentation. Or like here um, in the reptile world, it's all about you're selling yourself. I'm not gonna get into marketing too much, but you gotta realize that you're not selling the product that you have, it's you're selling yourself. People wanna buy snakes from you because of who you are and you know, if you're a good person and you know, well at least you act like a good person on, <laughs> on YouTube. I really am a good person, I, I, I'm not a bad person, I just thought that was funny. But you, you have to market yourself and uh, sell your product. That's the only thing I think it takes the longest time is learning how to sell it because you have to be outgoing and I personally think that you, the person that's outgoing is gonna do a lot better than a person that's actually an introvert um, in this thing, especially when you go to shows. If I'm out there being me, you can tell I'm really outspoken and, and who I am. It's a lot easier for me to sell than it would be someone who's really quiet and sitting at their booth and not talking to anybody. There's so many different reptiles to breed. I mean, there's so many things coming out that are becoming mainstream. Obviously, we know that ball pythons are the are the, are the king right now. You have leopard geckos, you have crested geckos, you have lichianus geckos. There's a lot of geckos coming out that are really, um, cave geckos, they're really big right now. Also, um, you have, if you live in a climate, tegus are really taking off. Um, also, blue tongue skinks, they're a little hard to breed, but they're, they're one of the best pets, I think, as a lizard. They're so easy to take care of. I mean, they're, I'm telling you, there is no better pet in my book of a first time pet that you don't, you don't know what you're doing uh it's hard to mess up with a blue tongue skate but there's a lot more room for everybody to grow and just take away all the negativity that everybody says saying it's hard um you know this and that and and just do what you want to do i'll be honest right now this business i'm doing and this reptile breeding hobby i'm doing um started out of love for breeding um i like i lived on a farm when i was a kid and I loved breeding chickens, I loved breeding rabbits, I loved breeding, we actually had peacocks, I loved breeding peacocks. That's something I really enjoyed. Um, when I moved to the city, when I got older, um, my parents lived in the farm, but I, you know, I, I, I moved out. I had to find something to breed. I started breeding dogs and different things like that. But that was kind of hard, having a bunch of puppies running around your house. So I went to reptiles. I, I bought me some reptiles and I started breeding them. And I wasn't expecting any money from this. I just enjoyed it. And actually my first, most of my reptiles when I first started breeding them, I gave them away to people and showed them how to set them up. Um, wasn't asking any money because I was just enjoying it. It wasn't for years down the road that I realized that I could actually make money doing this. So I'm telling you right now that when I first started this, I wasn't expecting to make money. I was just expecting to have fun because it's something I really love doing is breeding. Another thing that drives me crazy is people saying that ball pythons are not a great first time uh, pet. The only thing I would say that about ball pythons is they're not uh, the best display case um, animal. And the reason why I say that is because it's hard to keep the humidity correct in a display case. Um, can it be done? Yes. With a little more work. Um, but if you keep them in a tub or a racking system, they do a lot. They're a lot easier to, to take care of and um, so much, I mean, so much time saved. When you have them in a display case, you have a lot more misting, a lot more work, and you have to wash their sheds where I keep them in a tub, um, super easy. And the thing is that sometimes they don't eat. But I've never had a snake that would not eat again. I've, they have had some that went off for a month. And I know that can be kind of frustrating or kind of worrisome for someone that's starting out, but as long as you tell somebody that that might happen, it's all good. So guys, um, if you guys are thinking about breeding some kind of reptile, I hope this video helps you out because 
the market is not oversaturated because like when I go to these shows, I sell my snakes super easy. Um, my snakes have already gone, came and gone for the year. I don't show you a lot of my snakes. I don't show you a lot of my stuff. I need, I need to bring more out there because I'm more about trying to get you guys excited about it more than I'm showing my collection. There's so many people out there that have showing you my collection, my collection, my collection, my collection. I've seen like so many videos uh, about that. My goal is to get you excited about doing it and building the community. But me, I'm no, I'm no genius, but I can breed ball pythons super easy. I'm no genius, but I can breed uh, leopard geckos super easy. Uh, again, I mean, I can breed uh, crested geckos easy. I can breed all these things I've been breeding for years, um, bearded dragons. And I'm just saying anybody can do it. It just takes a little time, a little bit of training, a little bit of education, a little bit of learning, and it won't be long, you can be, you'll be breeding reptiles too. And you just gotta learn how to sell them, which is not that hard as long as you're a little outgoing. I think that's the main thing. Be a little more outgoing. I mean, if you wanna do it online, that's totally different. But if you wanna go to these shows, I think that's when you first start out. Going to the shows is a lot better, if you possibly can. Our shows are still shut down for the year. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping, knock on wood, that they'll be open up pretty soon. But that's that's a frustration because I love going to shows. Going to shows makes me super happy. Um, if you can see me, you, know, you can see right now who kind of personality I am. I'm very outgoing and I love seeing all my friends that go there, seeing all the people that breed and I get excited. It actually, it works like a, a drug to me. It gets me all excited. Um, but I haven't been able to go. And so I'm kind of like, I'm a little down, not down, but I'm a little frustrated because I, I haven't got to see all my friends all my, you know, my reptile keeper friends and all my hobby friends and all my breeder friends. It's, it's, it's frustrating, but I know it'll pass because um, Washington State and all the West Coast have kind of taken this COVID thing a little too far in my opinion, but I'm not going to go into that because I'm not going to get into the whole uh, COVID thing. Some people think that they're not strict enough. Some people think they're, they're too strict. Um, I think that what they're doing in Washington is way too strict, but hey, it is what it is. I live here. I could choose to move, but I, I love the community here and I'm gonna stick stick it out. But if that's what you guys wanna do, uh, I hope I, I kinda convinced you because um, this is a great community. Um, I, I wanna see you guys succeed at it. I wanna see you guys um, come in here either just to, to have a hobby to do, have a place to hang out. You know, you go to shows and hang out with people. Um, you don't have to make money, um, but it's just, a, it's just a great feeling. You know, people have Comic Cons, people have like these things. Well, I love going to reptile shows and it's, it's just fun, it really is. And if you are like me, that love to breed things, it's just the place to be. So guys, I hope you guys get from this. I hope that you guys uh, will end up, you know, to, to get your feet wet. I mean, don't have to go all in, um, get a couple snakes, get a couple uh, leopard geckos, get a couple crested geckos, just try it out, see if it works for you. You know, if it doesn't, you didn't, you didn't lose anything, you know, you maybe spent a little bit of money, but you try it out. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, not everything is perfect, but I, I think you can make it work as long as you guys um, put some education and put some uh, perseverance in there, and I, I guarantee it'll eventually pay off to you. It's paying off for me, but honestly, I would do this even if I didn't make one penny from doing this because it's what I love to do. But making money doing what I love, it's just gravy. I'm gonna be truthful about money. Can you make money breeding ball pythons? Most definitely. Um, I believe you can make whatever you want out of it. I think anybody that's motivated enough can make pretty much anything work. Um, is there better ways of making money? Yes. Is there, can you make money from breeding ball pythons? Definitely. But um, most of you, I'll look in the, in, the, in the eye right now, most of you are gonna make okay money from it. Um, some of you that are really good at marketing and getting yourself out there, you'll probably make a lot more money than someone who's a little more shy and are kind of like just doing it as a, you know, an extra income. But it can be an extra income. It can also be a business. It can also be, you know, a whole lifestyle. There's people that make lots of money is doing this. Me personally, right now, it's an extra business that I make a decent amount of money. I believe in the future, I'll probably do this full time. I mean, I was actually planning this this year to be full time, but COVID hit and it kind of said no to that plan. But I'm not discouraged about that. Um, it'll come when it comes. And like I said, uh, it's a great, way to make extra money. It actually gave me more financial freedom, I'll be honest with you, because of what I make at work and what I make here. Um, I'm actually taking a little bit money from it, but I, I, even if I don't, it's always there, that money's there. 
um, if I have an emergency or something. I don't like taking money from my reptile money, but I, I have it in there and it's, it's a great feeling to know that I accomplished something and have that money even, you know, even on top of what I do at work and what my wife does at work. So it's a great feeling once you start making money. It really is. I mean, I can't lie that you start seeing money come in and it's kind of surprised you at first. You get that feeling, well, whoa, I wasn't expecting this, you know, to do this well. It's a great feeling and uh, you know that you did it. Don't listen to the negativity. There's so much negativity out there. People talking uh, bad and I don't know why. Anyways, guys, hope that helps out. Hope that motivates you. Hope that kind of gets you off your couch and into the reptile room. Anyways, guys, I would, would love it if you guys check out some of these videos right here. Also, hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm getting close to a thousand and I am super stoked. You know, when I first started this YouTube channel, I wasn't expecting to do this well, but obviously I'm doing pretty well. I guess I'm doing something right. Anyways, guys, I love you. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Peace. Bye, everybody. The COVID hit and it's really kind of devastated, um, not devastated, but it really hurt people here in Washington because we are one of the states that are definitely uh, more hardcore about protecting people um, to the point of like, well, I'm not gonna get into it. I think they kind of go overboard, but it is what it is. Some of you guys are lucky because you guys have shows still open. We don't have any shows right now. And I love shows because what shows do for me is they pump me up. I'm, you can tell that I'm a really outgoing person. Um, that's why I do videos. And I love talking to people about it, and it gets me all pumped up. And it's almost like a drug to me, um, just going down there and talking to people about reptiles. Um, that's what I get to do with you guys. But guys, I'm being truthful. Um, don't let the haters stop you if that's what you want to do. A um, lot more room, a lot more uh, room for everybody to grow. And people just want to hate and bring you down to their level. Don't listen to them. Anyways, guys, if you guys wouldn't mind, check out some of the other videos right here. Also, hit that subscribe button. I'm getting close to 1,000, and uh, I thank you guys for it, man. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you for commenting below. Thank you for being a part of my life and listening to all my crazy rants. Anyways, guys, I love you. Later. Peace. Bye.